Getting patients out of harm's way. That was the mission for hospitals flying into the hurricane's danger zone, evacuating the patients and then flying them to safety. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall spoke with a Vanderbilt Life Flight programmer who helped FEMA in this effort. Brandon, how difficult was it to fly into that area? Rory, one flight manager I spoke with said it was an organized chaos, but very rewarding. For three days, he and team from four other hospitals worked nonstop around the clock to get patients to safety. It has been nonstop in the last three days. We work 24 hour shifts. Every second counts. And you can see where the outer bands are already starting to hit as all that's starting to push in, as those bands are starting to push through. We we're evacuating from here to here. Before Hurricane Florence hits the East Coast. Definitely the wind gusts, uh, the sustained winds. Hospitals teamed up with FEMA. So it makes it more difficult to follow an approach into the airport. To transport patients out of harm's way. And at this point, the airports are probably closed. Vanderbilt University Medical Center responded by offering a medical plane to fly critical patients from Myrtle Beach to Spartanburg, South Carolina, or Jacksonville, Florida. We had a mass takeoff and a mass landing. Keith Evans with Life Flight. Within 15 minutes of them arriving at the airport, we were able to load them onto our, our aircraft, get them hooked up to our monitors, our ventilator, and take off. Evans worked around the clock the last three days flying with patients. You can see how it's already has overtaken the beaches. This was his 12th hurricane relief type mission. The airport that we landed at yesterday was about a mile from the beach. Hospitals coordinate days ahead of time watching the weather. Get report on the patient, hook them up to our equipment, load them into our aircraft. And where to send planes. As soon as we get back to the aircraft, they say, hey, fly right back. You've got another patient. Dispatch centers will then tell planes where to land. Once we land, we can do one of two things. Yesterday, they brought us the mass casualty bus, so they brought the patients to us. Other thing that could transpire, we land there, we'll get on an ambulance, they will drive us to the hospital. Loading patients safely into planes can take 15 minutes to an hour and a half. It's right at the edge. Evan says the flights can be emotional, taking patients away from home, but they know they're in good hands. It's a heartwarming thing for us to be able to provide that care. Now, Life Flight transported five patients away from coastal hospitals. Now, it is uncertain, but they can and may transport patients back to those hospitals once they get the all clear from FEMA. We're in Nashville this evening. Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.